So, what can you hear in the background? You can hear some noise. And GarageBand kindly auto puts on the noise gate there, right? And you can hear that when I'm not playing, the noise goes away. But here's the problem. The noise gate in GarageBand is either on or it's off. And I don't know about you, but I don't like, I don't like the on and the off like that. I like to be able to control my noise gate a little bit better than that. So that's what, that's where the plugin I'm going to show you here comes in super duper handy. It's the Nembrini analog rack noise gate. In fact, why don't I uh, turn off the monitoring just while I get this set up. So monitoring's off now, so you're not going to hear that background noise. So let's jump in here. We're going to go to plugins and EQ. We're going to go uh, edit and we're going to hit the plus button here. Now we can go to audio unit extensions. And if we scroll on down, we're going to find the NA, the Nembrini Audio Analog Rack Noise Gate. Now this is free, probably buried the lead on that one. This is free, so we can use this on any track. Now we're going to hit the edit button here and we're going to move this up to the top. Now we can't bring it above the built-in noise gate, but we are going to bring it here above the compressor, just so that it's the first thing that we get here. And we're going to turn off the garage band noise gate. So why is this noise gate better? Uh, yes, we'll register later. So this noise gate is better because not only do you have a range, you also have a threshold here. So I'm going to show you how this actually works for you uh, with this. So we need to turn our monitoring back on so that we can actually hear our guitar again. So let's come back to our bass and we'll go to our little, little icon there. We'll hit monitor. There we are. Now you can already hear our noise gate isn't on here, but the Nembrini noise gate is actually doing the work for us. So if we come back to the noise gate, what we'll do, if we turn that range all the way down, you can see it's doing nothing, right? It's not turning down at all. If we turn the range all the way up, it's gonna turn it off completely. And when we dial this threshold in, At whatever threshold, whatever dB, it starts hearing noise, that's what it's going to do. So if we turn this threshold all the way up, you can see there on the display, and you can hear here. I'm playing quite loudly, but because I'm not hitting up to that minus 15 dB on the threshold, nothing's coming through. As I bring the threshold down, and I play loudly, oh, drop my pick, it will now start coming through, right? So it will actually start coming through there. But here's the cool news. Here's the good news of all of this stuff is that we don't have to have it at zero. So let, what, what I normally do is I turn the range all the way up and I find. I find the point where we need it to be. And then I dial back the range. Because listen to this. As the range comes back, we're hearing more of it, right? At zero, we hear everything. And hear how it's just taken it down. So you still hear a bit of that natural hiss that you kind of want. And that just means that when you're playing here. When it turns it off, it's not turning it completely off. So that is why I love the Nembrini noise gate. And whenever I'm playing, I always put that on at the start of my chain.